Oh, spoilers in a finale? Fuck you! Come on, guys, please. Finish your touches now. Come on, stop the whole crate. You all over the face. Here we are. 60 seconds to go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. He's falling apart. Oh, David. This is, um... Camel Macchiato. Keep working. Laser focus. David has now started to play. Finally. I got this. 15 seconds to go. Come on. Come on, John. There you go. Okay. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop and hands in the air. Wow, what an incredible 60 minutes. All right, you three, the moment of truth has arrived. It's time to taste. Oh, what is those that? Entrees. Please. Let's head to the restaurant. Oh, it's, oh my god. Shit. Rice, you three, well done. Sean, please present your entrees, thank you. The judges didn't care for my appetizer, so this entree has to be my comeback. Your chefs. Everything's on the line on this dish. Like, if I don't knock this out of the park, there's no reason for me to cook dessert. Wow. Visually, it's breathtaking. Thank you. Describe it, please. Coffee ancho spice rubbed venison loin with a plum venison demi garnished with some balsamic cipollini, some smoked plums, garlic shallot cream, some truffle, and some nice, beautiful fiddleheads. I can smell the truffle. I can smell the spice. I can smell light smoke. Oh, no, no, no. What's smoked on the here? The plating could have used something cool in the plums. middle. I didn't want to overpower you with the smoke, so I just gave you the smoked plums so you have that tartness, but you also, at the back of your palate, you should get that smoky essence. Mm. Mm. I mean, no, stop, stop, my fuck you. Why is it? It tastes as good as it looks. The texture is incredible. Venison's like butter, gaming, spicy. Coffee gives that bitterness. So there's hidden treasures in every little bite. You've now reinvented how venison should be plated because it's it's true to itself. I'm blown away. Thank you very much. Great chef. job. Thank you. When you describe the dish. I was worried about the chanterelle and the truffle, but the harmony in this dish is enchanting, exceptional. Okay. Everything has its place, and everything play a nice role together. Compared to your appetizer, I think you understood harmony yeah. and respect of ingredient. Well done. Thank you, chef. I needed a, I needed a big one today. You know, Sean, McClane. they made a movie it's called a, The Perfect it's a Storm. I think plank. this is the perfect forest. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a log. I think when you look at forest on a plate, this might be it. Thank you, Chef. I love the onion. I think the onion, it is caramelized with the balsamic vinegar, a little sugar, and I really love the color Fucking of tree stump the Andy. fiddlehead ferns because it really brightens up the whole dish. But if I would think one thing, I saw you smoking the plum, mm -hmm. I don't think he does that much to it, really, okay. to the dish. Did I you think test what them is, even, is, is that what vegetable, the spinning thing? Not that I wouldn't talk it about it. It thing in Harry Potter that they I eat it. and then they can right. swim no, for longer I, I time. I don't think he does that much to the dish. Okay. But at the end, it's really the venison. The rub is not overpowering, so it came out really, really as a stunning right? dish. Right? It Thank does. You, it I does. I love the restraint really that weed. you showed with that black truffle. That black truffle uh, almost that. mimics the shape of the plate. I think it's elegant. I think it's very thoughtful. It's very dreamlike in a beautiful way. The venison is cooked beautifully, and it's great to see you change direction like that so quickly from course to course and really prove time and time again that you are a great student. I'll never give up, chefs. Thank you, Thank you, chef. Thank you chefs. Nice chef. Damn. They didn't get the piano guy, too. And he gets truffle. Oh, I needed that. Brandy, please present your entrees. Thank you. I've put myself into this entree. I've taken simple southern ingredients. I've elevated them. Who would think that you could put a hush puppy in a Master Chef finale? But I've Let's made it honest. beautiful on this plate. She should have swapped her entree and appetizer. Um, this I have is a cast smaller iron than her, than her appetizer. Breast over and dewy mixed greens with a blackberry demi, ramp hush puppies, and pickled white strawberries. Brandy, 
The hush puppy looks like a falafel to me, but I can't wait to taste it. Falafel. Seriously? Put your glasses on for you today, <laughs> <laughs> He's so wheezing. Happy with the look of this entree? I am happy with this. I think that um, the elements of my dish were hard to make beautiful, but I think that I put a lot of finesse on the plate today. Oh, she hates I think it's one of the best plates you've ever plated. I mean, duck's beautiful. Look she that hates one. it. That's seasoned incredibly. Love the blackberries. I mean, there's no greater combination. This is better than the appetizer. What it needs, Randy, is a touch of lightness. I'll drop the hush puppies because it's just rich and rich and rich. Put a little bit of weight on me, <laughs> but don't put me into cardiac arrest. Yeah. Yes, I mean, chef. Keep me alive for dessert. Well done. What do you mean for dessert then? It's very tasty. The, the green, clients died after the appetizer. A nice finish of acidity behind. The andouille brings this strength to it. And the falafel, as uh, Wolfgang called now, it. What does it look like? You want my glasses, Gordon? Yeah, <laughs> give, give <laughs> one of my glasses over there. And look with the glasses. Huh? You look very handsome with the glasses, you know? <laughs> yeah, he does. Jesus. Your eyesight was that bad. <laughs> what I really love about your dish is I want to eat it all. And I think that's the secret of a beautiful dish. Thank you, Chef. I love the flavor of the hush puppies, but I actually prepared the pork belly to the duck. Yet you cook the duck perfectly. But I think all in all, I expected a little more from you. Oh, shit. Brandy, I thought some of the flavors on your duck entree were delicious. Clapped. Really well together. But I disagree with Gordon 100%. It's by no means your most beautiful What a 180. To be quite honest, it's not a strong visual presentation at all. I disagree with Christina, because that's I think this is beautiful, and I think this is you to a T. And Christina needs to get her eyes tested eyes quickly. I that think is it's what you say. Thank what you're saying, this looks okay. ugly? It doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't it look doesn't beautiful. Look good. I'd rather a plate that looks less elaborate and tastes phenomenal. No, Thank you. but it can't look gray and brown. Gray. And listen, Brandy, Sometimes. I love you guys. All of you. Gray. Gray. Right, okay. gray. Gray. gray it's not. Delicious it is. Thank Christina you. Christina has the last word. Needless to say, we're all very passionate about Chat. what you when put When the forth baker finally it. speaks. Thank you very much. Taking a drink. <laughs> David, please present your entree. Thank you. <sighs> My entree course is disappointing. I wasn't able to roll Baker, my it. cabbage rolls tightly enough, and it took me so long that I couldn't get them in Her the water bath enough time. Next round. So I'm a little worried that Fair my enough. pan is not cooked to the correct temperature. Describe the dish, please. For you, I have oh soy cabbage wrapped guinea hen and foie gras served with a morel and yellow wine cream sauce with sautéed fresh morels and thumbelina carrots. You're not happy with this. Correct. You've got the right to be pissed off. It looks a mess. Come here. Come here, you. Come here, you. Take a look at that. And tell me what you can see. Oh, no. What? I put the fucking camera on it so we can see. Jesus Christ, it's showman. David. Yes, chef. Come here. Take a look at that and tell me what you can see. Is it raw? Oh, I can see uh, that. It's maybe a little bit pinker than I intended. That is not a little bit pink. That's raw. This is rare. That's rare. Thank you. Oh. Guys, hold up. Yeah. Let me see something. Chad, because because he's third in the lineup in his last, okay, the pink is gonna always gonna look a little bit more reddish in color because of how much time it was spent out and how much it aired. It, oxi it, it, it oxidated. Sauce is incredible. The combination that wine, that dryness, the redness. Sweetness. Always oxidates it a little bit. But wrapping any protein in cabbage and then tempering it and then cooking it yeah, twice and rolling it, your work Just is cut like out. Just like stuff with blood. And you need to have made 200 of these to nail it because it's unforgiving. Understand why you put your neck in your noose. That's you. 
unfortunately, your hand's not strong enough because it's such a technical dish to pull off. Really technical. Thank you, chef. The seasoning is perfect. The sauce is superb. And Gordon will agree with me, in French cuisine, sauce can count for 75% of the sauce. success of a dish. Yeah, and good I sauce. Think here, Fuck you're really yeah. proven that you were a very, very good cook and you could make a fantastic sauce also. Thank you, chef. You're like an artist who walks on the high wire. So if you walk on the high wire, you better be good if you fall at the end. Yeah. I don't think you fell here. My guinea hen is actually cooked really perfectly. Would I have loved a little more foie gras? For sure. But the dish looks beautiful, and I really believe it was delicious. Thank you, Chef. David, I think the flavor of the dish is delicious, but there are a few shortcomings that that are pretty blatant here. It's clear that you still remain a technician in terms of flavor, but you fell a little short in flavor terms of technique technician. with the preparation of that protein. Thank you, David. Thank you, chefs. A flavor technician can repair the flavor elevator. David, Brandy, Sean, it is time for dessert. Why don't the three of you head on into the kitchen and get ready for that dessert Thank you, chefs. Thank you, chefs. Thank you. I mean, some pretty impressive entrees. We obviously have a lot to talk about. How's everybody feeling? Well, they weren't as hard on me as I thought they could have been. David's entree. I think there were high points of his dish, the sauce, and low points of his it dish, was the terrible. actual cookery of the protein, which was meant to be the star of the dish. David's biggest problem this evening with his entree was him. The actual technical ability of assembling that but dish yeah, was sauce. way more difficult than cooking it. And he shot himself in the foot. Yeah. I needed that so bad. If I wouldn't have nailed that one, I would, <laughs> there wouldn't have been a reason for me to even cook dessert. Sean delivered in the Who entree. I've to? never saw venison presented this way. I want David to the win. The onions but... were cooked nicely and give it sweetness, a little acidity from the balsamic vinegar, mushroom, and he executed the venison perfectly. Honestly, tonight's the first Sean time is smurfing, I'm where I felt say. that I could lift a finale's dish and transport it to my flagship restaurant. And Sean's was just that. It was that good. Yeah. We still got one more round. Brandy came in with a hand-seared duck breast that was just beautiful. She played to her strengths. When I see Brandy, Brandy is I a smile southern, and it makes greasy, me happy to big see and heavy how one trick. She has gone into the competition. Eh, I like it though. And stays so true to her roots. Mm -hmm. It was a wonderful, wonderful dish. I was not impressed yeah. with that. No. Visually, she did not bring the thunder. 60 minutes left in the Master Chef kitchen. Better make it count, my man. I think it's fair to say at this point, through the appetizer and the entree, with that a three-way tie. I mean, her, what but she cooks, not her. Still, she's, not, she's not greasy. I would argue is the most important course to come. I think whoever nails this one yeah. might rise to the top. I agree. Let's go. I predict Sean makes a weird bowl, like last time, whatever he did. What is it called? Like the weird vanilla bullshit? David, Brandy, and Sean, two courses in, one to go. Right now, if you had to ask me, it's wide open, ladies and gentlemen. The pressure is really on to nail your desserts. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your 60 minutes. Starts. Now, now. In incoming here. Wow, this is it. 60 minutes away from one of these three talented amateur cooks becoming America's next master chef. For my dessert, I'm making cornbread madelines, a white chocolate mousse, bourbon caramel, candied pecans, and bourbon glazed peaches. No way you can pull that off. The judges are going to look at this plate, and they are no going to be completely floored. Shot. They're not going to believe that it came from a no, Irvington Elementary No, absolutely no shot to pull that off. I'm just going to say it ahead of time. You got it. Come on, girl. Woo! <laughs> Madeleines aren't too sweet. They're like the perfect balance of like richness, sweetness, and, and, and consistency. For dessert, it's like I'm making it's a like, glaze. It's like the perfect dessert, Jerry. Are you kidding me? Served with a chocolate cremeau, a kirsch but she won't pull it off whipped cream, off. cherry puree, garnished with a cookie crumble, and popping rocks. 
My dessert is Pop very rocks. complex. There's lots of technical aspects in it. If executed properly, there's no beating my dessert. Oh yeah, that's perfect. For my dessert, I'm making a salted caramel chocolate tart with a raspberry coolie. I needed to nail the entree after the stumble with the appetizer, and I'm back. There I'm a pop, uh, uh, pop Brandy rock and David better bring everything they know to take me down, because I'm motivated. I'm ready for this. The MasterChef trophy is coming down to dessert. Get it, Josh! Yeah. Bubba, bubba gum, bubble yum, nerds. Nerds got a sore. Wow. Air and away from one of these three talented amateur cooks becoming America's next master chef. Let's go, guys! A killer dessert from any of the three home cooks. You don't know about Bubba Bubba? And Bubba Young? Don't, don't talk to me. Earmuffs. Sean. Chef Tosi. Dessert. Come on, this is your dough? Yes, ma'am. It's a chocolate almond dough. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm actually raining it in a little bit on my dessert. I'm doing a classic salted caramel chocolate tart with a raspberry coulis. Now, why decide to play it safe in the dessert course? Well, I said simplify. I didn't say safe, because this thing might not set. So my timing's got to be right. And how long do they need in the oven? They need probably about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you got to chill them down 10 and 15? fill them. What like a big said, margin. Simplified, not easy. Okay. <laughs> You know, sometimes the simple things are more difficult. Absolutely, because the, cause the ball is shiny yeah. and brighter. Sean, your last 40 minutes cooking in this kitchen. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Mad lens are crazy. Really good. Tell me about the dish. I'm making if you can some, mad some of those are insane. Dusted in powdered sugar. I don't know if you know, but Danielle is an expert at Madeleine. Oh, is he? An expert. I serve millions of Madeleine. How are we dressing this? What's the garnish? I have the peach puree. I'm making a bourbon caramel sauce. I've got spiced candy pecans. Like a sponge? I've got my Was white there chocolate mousse over here. I'm sticking to it my like flavors, lemon, but I am almost, gonna give you an upscale looking dessert. Now, the peaches, you caramelize them, roast them. How are we cooking them? In my cast iron skillet. I'm gonna yes, caramelize uh, those in uh, butter and brown skillet. sugar and flum bam with Good. the bourbon. 34 minutes to go. Good luck. Hell yeah. Hello, Chef. David, give Four it to me. The eight time. Time. Right here, I've got cherry puree. Okay. In that bowl, I've got a cherry compote that's going to go piped Compost, inside yeah, okay. of a pitted fresh cherry. And then I'm going to glaze it in my red glaze over here. So it's a cherry stuffed with cherry, glazed with cherry. Well, the glaze is a milk chocolate glaze. Oh, so this is chocolate, but also colored with red. Yes. Oh. Look at how shiny and stunning it is. Yeah, I think it's going to be beautiful. Ooh. And is that some gold decor I see over there? So yes. Over there, yeah. So you're bringing us Vegas in this last yeah. course oh, as well. Damn. Exactly. Exactly. Dessert yeah. bullshit. No, she knows cool. about that. You better speed up. Ah, right, good luck, why you? Cherries. Sounds elegant, it's focused, but David is again focusing so much on the technique, on these ingredients. Too complicated, Christina. I mean, is he doing to dessert what Sean what did to his appetizer? 30 ingredients? You don't need that much. It's about what you put into it, 30. thoughtfully. True. Beautiful. Ooh. So, Brandy's doing these corn madeleine. Playing to her strengths, but will that make the madeleine? These the are sweet, terrible. Delicate, what? Sponge, tastes like cornbread. Maybe the corn will there. That's dog will give shit. The madeleine a little crunch. You we'll don't need crunch in a madeleine. It would be a different version. Yeah, Brandy. It has to be brown girl. and golden almost all around, and a, a, a little hint Sean of like yellow gold on a top of the middle. And it looks like a shell. Part. I worry that Sean's playing a little too soon. That's sad. terrible. So this in this set could be a winner. I think that's where he's going. I've overcomplicated my appetizer, I've reined it in on the entree, and now I'm just going to give you the best chocolate tart ever. <laughs> Last five minutes. Come on. Whatever. This is it! Let's go, guys. Oh, she's opening the bourbon. Brandy's about to flop, babe. Oh. 